I just remember thinking to myself, how in the world am I going to tell my wife that our son, that her son, is dead? And when I began to realize what had happened, that left me with the question of who is going to believe me. How long, oh Lord, it's our right to be honest. Why do the wicked prosper? Is hope dead? One of the first places that I start with abuse survivors when I'm walking with them is I start in the book of Revelation. I don't start with the passages on forgiveness because they need to know how much God cares for them. God who enters this suffering world and suffers with us and for us. God coming back with a robe dipped in blood, bearing the sword of justice. He is coming for you, his daughter. He is coming for you, his son. This is absolutely revolutionary.